Hello, and welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In this video, we'll look at several enhancements introduced in the ongoing PHP Storm Early Access program. PHP Storm 2020.3 featured a widget displaying the PHP language level of the current project. If you set the PHP version in composer.json and enabled setting synchronization, the widget would appear grayed out. Your only option then was to manually modify the version constraint in composer.json. In PHP Storm 2021.1, you can use this widget to disable synchronization with composer.json and then set the desired language level without affecting the file. This way, you can quickly view how compatible your code base is with a newer PHP version before you actually switch to it. When working with several files, you can split the editor by dragging a tab to the side of the window. In 2021.1, you can also double-click on the current tab to maximize the area of the editor. To restore it to the original size, simply double-click the tab again. When working with HTML files, you can now click the PHP Storm logo in the web browser's list to preview the file in the built-in browser. Any changes made to an HTML file or the linked CSS and JavaScript files will be immediately saved and the preview will be reloaded automatically. You can configure the list of browsers under Preferences, Tools, Web Browsers. While we are looking at the preferences, notice that the PHP-related settings are now displayed on the top level. Earlier, you would need to locate them under Languages and Frameworks. Each PHP Storm release brings with it new inspections, quick fixes, and intention actions. In some cases, the leading backslash is redundant in namespaces. PHP Storm can help you determine where it can be removed. You can also apply this quick fix as part of code cleanup to remove all such occurrences at once. In PHP, you can define variables for the key and value in a for each loop. These variables don't have a separate scope, so PHP Storm will highlight every instance where they can clash with the names of other variables or parameters and override their values. If a Boolean expression contains true or false literals, PHP Storm will now offer you quick fixes to simplify it and increase code readability. If you use the strict comparison operator, the result will always be false if the operand's types don't match. PHP Storm will highlight such usages, as they can potentially be a source of bugs. Additionally, PHP Storm will take into account all the type inferred information and will help you find issues in the less obvious cases. PHP Storm will now highlight the sprintf or vsprintf calls that have only a single argument, meaning there are no values to replace in the template string. Such noisy calls can be streamlined and replaced with a plain string. To improve code readability, PHP Storm can detect when a loop with string concatenation can be replaced with a single str repeat function call. Sometimes variable expressions within interpolated strings need to be enclosed within curly braces. PHP Storm highlights the cases where such curly braces are redundant, worsen code readability, and can be safely removed. In previous versions, PHP Storm detected and automatically injected a language and string literals passed as arguments. For example, if you passed a pattern string to pReg functions directly, it was highlighted as a regular expression. But if you passed a variable, its value would not be highlighted. PHP Storm 2021.1 will analyze how variables are used and inject a language reference automatically. Another new inspection highlights HTTP protocol usages and strings, and it lets you either instantly switch to HTTPS or ignore the URL. The list of all ignored URLs and other settings for this inspection is available under Preferences, Editor, Inspections, Security, Link with Unencrypted Protocol. The new quick fix lets you change a condition to the opposite and make the necessary code adjustments to preserve the logic. If you are a fan of the early return practice, this action will be very handy as it helps you refactor your code. In this release, you can run code inspections with the selected profile before committing your changes. In the Commit Tool window, click the gear icon, select the Analyze Code checkbox, click Configure, and then choose the desired profile. You can customize your profiles in the Preferences, Editor, Inspections. This about sums up all the new features available in the latest EAP build of PHP Storm. Stay tuned for more updates. 
and thanks for watching.